The radical hospitality poured out at these TransLink stations is just one example of the impact a network of service-oriented Christians are having at the 2010 Olympics. More Than Gold is a coalition of Christian groups working together to welcome the world to Vancouver. Right now, there's uh, 15 denominations that have linked together and over 40 partnering organizations. So it's really the widest engagement, um, I think in about 25 years, where the uh, one church in Vancouver has linked together uh, for outreach. We just One of the most out. visible Those aspects of the network are the hospitality areas set up at transit stations around the greater Vancouver area. 45,000 volunteer hours have culminated in warm drinks, pin trading and a friendly West Coast welcome. To truly reflect this inclusive welcome, we've themed more than gold around radical hospitality. It's really the radical hospitality of Christ that all are welcomed at the table. And um, it, it's a biblical hospitality that always included the stranger. It's not a superficial hospitality. And um, so how to have that reflected, that we would offer simple hospitality, moving into public spaces to offer coffee and hot chocolate and water. The More Than Gold Network also features a plethora of arts events, mission outreaches, homestay programs, and big screen sporting events in area churches, just to name a few. There's also a strong emphasis on social justice, a more comfortable fit for people of faith that have concerns around the games. This is the first time sustainability has been put on the agenda of the Olympics. And this is Vancouver. That is a major um, concern for most Vancouverites. And so um, the whole areas of social justice initiatives, we have three around sex trafficking, which often escalates around major sporting events and issues of homelessness. We do have uh, the wealthiest in Canada, but also the poorest in Canada. And we know that authentic Christianity is to stand for justice, to advocate and that there's a bias toward the poor. Um, that's in most theology, how, how to actually have that in our practice at a little deeper level, and, um, and then around the environment. And then tomorrow we're gonna send most people would agree that the whole church working together is a good thing, but making it happen at a grassroots level is often the most challenging part. Besides denominational differences, More Than Gold faced another schism. Some Christians embraced the Olympics, while others protested it. Bringing everyone together under one umbrella seemed impossible. But for those behind the network, getting the unity part right was their most important task. Well, like I said, it's much easier to just hang with your own affinity group. So we have said, we, we as a network will uh, want to stay in a positive, neutral place, not in alliance with the Olympics or antagonistic against it. So that it would provide um, engagement from um, the Christian community in all um, spectrums. And I've wanted to encourage that. It takes a lot to keep that gate open. And this is the widest, um, gate, widest um, engagement that we have had with that diversity of view. I think, again, those are things that spur critical thinking, uh, that spurs this kind of fiber within the Christian community where we can see that diversity. But it's the breadth of diversity that is most impressive to many in the faith community. Barb Dowding of the Catholic Archdiocese here in Vancouver says it's focusing on our similarities and not our differences that is key to working together. I think the biggest thing that I've gotten from this is the um, common denominator, which is our belief in Jesus Christ. It is, it's unbelievable to me to see um, all the people around the table pray. We pray the same words, we have the same hopes. Um, I'm not very good at praying out loud, which is kind of a, a little bit of a joke because I'm Catholic and we don't do that so well. But the other people around the table are able to say the things that are in my heart, and I'm learning how to say it out loud. So it's been, um, for me, really eye-opening to see that we're all, all, we really are one already in so many ways. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And for the Catholic Archdiocese, the focus on radical hospitality most resonated as a way they could participate in the games. So we've opened our doors in our churches to provide coffee and well, hospitality for people. As you saw when you came in today, we're doing a huge opening for our center here, and we're going to have um, media be screen TV, internet, chapel, prayer, that sort of thing. 
We were there for the opening of the Catholic Center, which is ideally located just steps away from one of Canada's most treasured Olympic events, hockey. They can expect to find lots of really young people who are dying to meet and greet everyone that's coming into the, into the city. Um, as you know, we're right on Robson Street, so there's a, a sort of a freeway, if you will, to the hockey and to BC Place. So we have signs outside and people welcoming um, people to come in. I think what you might find here is um, a quieter time, maybe something more spiritual, if you will. Um, there's a lot of pubs and rocking kind of um, fun party places. Not that there won't be any fun here, but it's not that kind of fun. It's more of a um, Christian outreach. And they found a unique way to contribute to the thousands of volunteer hours keeping coffee and hot chocolate flowing in the city. Yes, in fact, we have a men's hostel on our top floor that takes into, I think, about 90 um, clients a night um, for the um, people who have nowhere to sleep. And they have agreed, the men's hostel, to make all the coffee for the stadium station. So that means the uh, coffee is brewed there, taken down the elevator, outside, up the lane, down the street to stadium station. And they're doing that for the 17 days. But it looks like we've got the full shift. And although the partnerships oh, created here in Vancouver yeah, and across the country were motivated by the Olympics, really Karen Reed hopes it signals a new day for the entire church in Canada. John Furlong, the CEO, says that the Olympics is not about sport, it's about building a nation. And I have uh, wondered if uh, our collaboration is not just about these outreach events and service events, but but building the church up and that the whole church in Canada this is a time to rise up and say how can we collaborate in new levels in seriously linking arms with um, others brothers and sisters and other churches to serve the common good and so I would want to inspire it across the country that this is a moment for the church to shine and um, that we would have a sense of urgency to use this time well. In the name of the Lord with his, with his wonderful presence. In Vancouver, Cheryl Weber, 100 Huntley Street.